Good day everybody, welcome to the Creo Parametric tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make this Mickey Mouse head in 3D. And this is not a mesh modeling technique, it's a uh, nerves, curves, B spline modeling technique. So we'll be creating surfaces out of curves and create a 3D model. So this is just useful for display purposes, creating images and any renderings you might like. So so that's it. So here's the head model. It looks turns out alright. Okay, let's get started. So this is called this program is called Creo Parametric. And the suited version is available to download. If you go to the the company website, it's a it's by a company called PTC, and create a new file. So download that, and oh, this is a new file already. And I'll switch on the planes. And the first step is go to freestyle, and click a sphere, and accept that. That will create a sphere here. And I'm gonna do this again, but this time make a switch, click on this sphere, and it'll create a sphere underneath. Just draw a box around, go to scale, or actually move, we're gonna move up first. So you can select the the little semi um, quarter circle there to move in this direction, or you can drag the arrows as well. I'm gonna scale this, make it flat and select this one of the point in the middle and drag it in so there is a hollow, not a hollow but a dimple I think, sort of dimple okay switch to the front view Drag a box around everything and scale the thing slightly larger. So, and move them into the right position. Switch to the top view and give it a slight rotation. Transformation and rotate. Let's go move it, move it into place. And that's it. So check with the front view again. Okay, that's fine. So accept that. So there you go, that's the ear. And I'll create a mirror. Click on mirror, click on the surface. And I'll create a copy over here. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna create the mo the nose. Go to the style tool, style tool, create surfaces to so create unique surfaces. Switch on, click set plane, set the the front plane, and click this button to bring it forward. Draw. Okay, so about the middle, um, it's a good idea to get some reference as well. We're gonna create the nose now. The nose is from the middle down, so draw about there, maybe a bit lower, and accept. And we just need to make sure we edit this curve. This point needs to be in the middle because when we just make sure the x is on zero, that means it's the center direction. So x direction is that way. So if you put on zero, it's good to go. Turn on control points and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch on degree five. The degree five curves are more round, it'll give you more a more curvature curve. It's important to 
good. Click on the second point before the end and switch that to horizontal. Horizontal will keep the lines blended when we mirror across. So just draw a curve like that. And we also move it to move it to the right place. Activate the side plane. And to move we go to curve and move and bring this near the if you hold control and ALT that will keep it into um, constrained. Okay, let's make a copy. Accept the move and go to copy. I have a reference picture here. So the nose on the side looks like that. So we're going to make it look like that. Okay, drag the copy curve across and bring it about there and scale that. Drag the corners here to scale. And this should be very small, should be about one fifth of the size. So about that size and Add a rotation. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can add it more later on, but next step, click on the curve tool and I'm gonna draw a curve, hold shift to snap on this curve. Draw one there, press the middle mouse button and draw another curve there. And now move the curve to the ends. Switch onto side view and now just add a curvature to this curve and try create it so it's similar to the reference picture here. And I'll put on degree five so we can add more detail. And is there just a slight hump there? All right. Okay, basically we're gonna start to create the surface here. So in B spline techniques, to make a surface, it's made out of four boundary boundary curves, and it creates a surface. So that's the nose. And I'll go accept that. And I also want to go ahead and make the little mouth for the for the the head. So to edit what we just created, just right click, go edit definition, and now click on the curves. It's time to move on to create the mouth for Mickey Mouse. So switch on to draw on the surface, we've got to draw a curve on the surface now, so okay, so we create a surface here so be aware, this sphere, it's made out of many smaller surfaces, and we can't draw a line across all of them, so we've got to draw separate lines so draw one line there, another line there Press the middle mouse button to begin another line and one more line on the bottom. Okay. Go edit the curves. Make sure the curves connect with each other. Hold shift so there's a, it creates an X there that means it's connecting. And also go to tangent and switch on curvature. So the curves are tangent. So right here the two lines are highlighted. We need to select the one to make it tangent with. And also over here as well. Find the point, switch it to switch the tangent here to curvature and select the appropriate line. 
Okay, so this mile, this, so Mickey Mouse has a really large cheek, so make sure that's in there. And this one, make sure it's right about the middle. So switch on to front view. Okay, that's good. Okay, now what what we're gonna do is create another curve, and this time it's the for the mouth. It's a good idea to find a few reference picture. Okay, I'll look, see, I'll look at this one. Okay, so we, create, we need to create the lips for the mouth. So create another curve here, and this time make it slightly higher. Make a U, U shape here. And draw one more curve here to the middle and just go in and make sure the lines are connecting and also this line and this line is going to be, be blended together so make sure they are about the same length and it will create a nice blend and go in make sure the points are tangent okay that's not right And also spend some time to make the curve look natural. Natural and it will look a lot better. So do that for the bottom as well. So switch it to make it tangent. And I like to make some adjustments. Switch to front view. Just spend some time really play with the shapes. The mouth looks good when there's only a slight open. So draw a curve something like that. And that's fine. Okay. Okay, before we finish creating the mouth we have to add curves in. Switch it to the normal curves. Hold shift and add lines here. Press the middle mouse button button to to begin another one. One more here. And one more at the end. Go back in and move it to the ends of the line. Okay, this one's not right. This one should be up here. Okay, so just add a curve here, but for this curve, make sure there's a degree 5, and these points, for the mouth there's uh, lots of curve at the end of the line, so do something like that, actually, go edit.
Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, we're ready to make the surfaces. So click the surface tool and surface are made out of curves. Select the four curves in in a um, circle of motion. Accept that and one more right here. What did I do there? Cancel, click surface. Make sure the curves are on curvature or tension and it will blend across each other. Okay, that's not right there. So just click on that. Switch to the right view. Add a more. Good idea to check the other views as well. That's that's a the mouth there. So to create a map, the mouth, you can spend more time tweaking the lines, moving it around, and adjust it, and it will turn out a lot better if you spend more time. Okay, so before I go for this part, I'll make a I'll make a mirror that mouth bits across. So mirror, there's mirror over here, but these surfaces are really complicated. It's got relationships to the sphere here. We're gonna use this mirror here. Click that and hold control and select these surfaces. Click that and click the mirror plane here and it'll create the mirror mouth across. Okay, so, so the nose and the mouth are there but we've got to create a blending surface between them and it will look more like one surfaces. So I'll just go back to the previous model. So this is the previous model here. So for the nose, it's one surface, the mouth a few more surfaces and it's not, there's a blend between that. So this is part one. There might be f two or three parts. So I want to keep the video uh, not too long because it will take forever. So that's the end of this part. I'll put the links in for the next part of the video in the description. Just follow the links. Uh, let me know if you have any question. I hope you liked the video. See you later.